Good evening and welcome to this episode of Breaking Views. It is that time of the year again where we talk, where we deliberate, where we look at solutions, possible solutions to control the pollution situation in the capital. And yes, we've been doing this for over a decade. Lots of solutions have been spoken about and yet we have a pollution problem. The AQI is rising steadily. A lot was said about blame games and farm fires and internal reasons for pollution. But after a decade, where do we stand now? What sort of solutions are we looking at right now? Or should we just give up hope and be ready for the next edition of the Lung Burn Festival that Delhi has started celebrating? It's a depressing situation. And just to show you what the situation right now is, let me start with the environmentalist right here. In his meter, I have uh, Jaydar Gupta is an environmentalist. Your, your meter, Jaydar? About 340 says, is what we are looking at at the AQI. And, and what should the AQI ideally be? It should be under 50. Uh, and, and, you know, we have barely three to four days where the levels are under 50. So, so what is In supposed to be 50, and Joseph is going to show you, what is supposed to be 50, as we speak right now, is at 350 plus. Around, yes, 350 plus. And this, as we enter into the night, is only going to increase. I say by midnight, it'll be over 500. And maybe around Christmas, this will be 999. No, no, you know, the, 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 the good news, bad news is, well, the good news is that the Parali smoke has still not hit Delhi because mm. the winds are out of the south-southeast. On November 8th is when the winds are out of the northwest. Mm. That's when the real problem starts and, you know, I think we're going to see numbers. And, and your meter at that point will go beyond triple nine. It doesn't have a fourth digit. Yeah. So it's going to stop at triple nine. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the problem that we keep facing. Imagine every something year. that's supposed to be 50. Every is, year. Is 350 right now. Yes. And this will become triple nine. That's right. Only because the machine cannot measure. That's right which means it's much higher. I mean, th this kind of exposure mm. to uh, these black carbon nanoparticles is mm. unprecedented. And the fact that it happens in our national capital mm. region every year from Deshera to Holi, uh, that kind of long-term long exposure, I mean, we're talking about years of life lost from living and breathing mm. in Delhi of mm. 8 to 10 years. Mm. Uh, of, and, of everybody, you know, child, adult, and Correct. senior. Is that is that what we see, the haze? Uh, on North Block and South Block, is that the suspended particulate that matter? That is the suspended particulate matter. Those mm. those lights are doing a great yeah. uh, service for us this evening. Yeah, and explaining uh, to us what the problem explaining is. Explaining to uh. it, it's a great visual reminder of where yeah. we live and how yeah. pathetic our conditions are. I mean, it may look nice that there is a sort of a laser beam, but that's actually a problem. That is a huge. It's problem. not. It's not. Uh, uh, beautification is a say. health emergency it's a yeah. public health emergency mm -hmm. Sanget and I want to tell you yeah. that this is more serious than COVID but we minimize it year after year because this is just a regional problem it's mm -hmm. not a global problem mm -hmm. let me tell you just in 2020 17 lakh people died in India from air pollution and mm -hmm. that year COVID was responsible for 2 lakh deaths mm -hmm. okay so we are minimizing this huge problem and it's not only a Delhi and, problem and localizing it and, and localizing okay. it as a Delhi okay. problem, it extends from Punjab to Bengal. Okay. It's not Doctor, only a Delhi Doctor, problem. Dr. D.K. Gupta, CMD of Felix Hospital in Noida, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Uh, we've seen what the meter shows. It's terrifying. But this is an annual affair. I mean, we have seen comparisons of lungs of a Delhiite versus the lungs of a Himachali. And, you know, the, these are discussions uh, we have had. Somehow, we seem to be having this over and over again. As a doctor... Do you see problems arising out of this increasingly complex problem also increasing? Health problems? Definitely not about the health problem. I think globally the air pollution contributes about 8 to 10 million deaths mm. annually. Means around 80 lakhs to 1 crore deaths are happening globally because of air pollution. And India is among top of them, these countries. Mm. They contribute around more than 1.5 million deaths annually mm. because of air pollution. Means 15 more than 15 lakhs deaths are occurring in India because of air pollution. Mm. Because this is not recorded. This is not it is statistical data for government or for normal public for any health authority. That's why we are not taking it seriously. Mm. And this is hazardous condition. This is toxic condition, especially for pregnant ladies, kids, 
सीनियर सिटीजन्स और पर्सन हु आर को मोबिड सफरिंग फ्रॉम बॉन्काइटिस अस्थमा सी ओ पी डी डॉक्टर गुप्ता समथिंग एज सिंपल एज वेयरिंग अ मास्क आई सी जय इज वेयरिंग अ मास्क राइट हियर आई डोंट नो वेदर दिस इज एन नाइन्टी फाइव और नॉट This is But, an N99 mask. It okay. has a nano fiber filter inside. Huh. It's it's tested down to 0.1 micron in, with in, a 99. In 99. Okay. But the point is that only very recently we have seen that there are circulars which has be, have which have been issued that masks are not mandatory. Of course, those masks were for a different right. reason. Right. Do you think that extreme measures need to kick in now? We should not wait for 999 AQI. <laughs> definitely because in these conditions where air quality index is more than 300 mm -hmm. definitely we should not go out and if we are going out definitely we have to wear at least a 95 mask okay. and i i know and this is very difficult to provide the whole ncr population n95 mask it mm. is very difficult and we are right now like we were sick because of these masks for last couple of years that why we are don't want mask on our face definitely we have to work on the source what is the source contributing this, this air pollution every year we are watching it every year from last decades mm -hmm. and every year there is a parali there is a crackers burning out there is a huge traffic on the roads there is a public not, not having good public transport there is a industrial area in delhi and ncr they are not controlled Correct. i think there should be some reduction of pollution okay. at the source level okay so now uh, as i introduce my political guests i have with me uh, priyanka kakkar aam aadmi party spokesperson Uh, we also have uh, uh, Alok Watts, leader of the BJP, and Mudit Agarwal, spokesperson of the Congress Party. Thank you very much, uh, Priyanka Ji. I want to begin with you first. You see, it is uh, the Delhi government which has decided, okay, remove the masks. They were meant for a different purpose, but now it's pretty evident. You have seen the meter; it's horrifying that masks are required again. Number one. Number two. The Aam Aadmi Party, when it was in government in Delhi. kept insisting that it is the parali from punjab parali from haryana and parali from west up which is causing the problem here though we know data shows that it is much more than parali that causes the pollution internal causes of pollution are also major contributor now the latest data shows that parali contribution from haryana and west up has gone down but the parali contribution from punjab has actually gone up 21% who do you blame right now it's your government in both these places good evening sanket uh, there is no doubt about the fact that the situation uh, is grim to say the least but at the same time it will be an unfair criticism criticism on the amadbi party government because i assure you let me begin by showing you one news article of 2010 first it will yeah. it is it's just if your camera can get this please uh -huh. so this is in 2010 where sheila dikshit ji is blamed for the worst pollution delhi ever saw hmm. what has happened subsequently is that aam aadmi party has adopted a number of measures be it setting up a green war room be it which is in operation right now hmm. but first let's talk about long term measures we have worked on an uh, we are working on the ev policy we hmm. are the first state with an ev policy we are first state with a tree plantation but policy but you see these are long term policies Correct. let me let me finish yeah. i'm just telling you the measures taken by aam aadmi party hmm. government i'm not at all saying the situation is good but at the same time i'm saying that if you saw that one day before diwali this time delhi uh, seven days one day before diwali this time delhi saw the least pollution in seven years and one day after diwali this time delhi saw the least pollution in five years hmm. it is because of the long term yeah yeah we need some corrective measures immediately not for long term i think we should do root cause analysis and we have some point and there should be some corrective measures she can come look if you ignore the sure sure if you ignore the facts you can see if you ignore the facts you can never solve the problem like what she talk about day before diwali that only happened because there were incessant rains in delhi so that was a small point Very i wanted well. to make no, so that's Very something so let, let's let understand this you right. want to solve a problem so you're, you're saying that this I, is yeah, there, there, there was there was there was a very the nice a very good uh, strong time. wind speed yeah. that day and even the morning after diwali and and you know yeah. certainly you can't claim a political victory just based oh, on just wind speed because of wind speed okay yeah i i'll i'll come so you want yeah yeah okay so Oh. you want to as i said you ignore the facts you can never solve the problem let's mm. understand what are the various inputs that going to pollute making of so called pollution in delhi mm. vehicular traffic industrial pollution mm. dust construction burning of biomasses mm. stubble burning they all contribute differently 
to this pollution problem in Delhi and the percentages are different in winters and summers. Hmm. You see, the other thing that I have a strong objection to, even the media, we never focus on pollution problem during summers, although even that time it's equally bad. Hmm. It's not only killing you in winter, it's killing you in summers also. Hmm. So what are governments doing? Governments are supposed to, the central government and Delhi government are supposed to come together and solve a problem. Take a Delhi specific view. Can, I, can I please flip the argument view. around Mr. Mudit? Yes. You're saying that the media does not focus. I'm just saying that when the media is in focus as far as right. pollution is concerned, the political fraternity must be ready with the answers. I you are expecting you know, us no. to continuously no. discuss no. No. all year no. long a what pollution solution, it, whereas the politicians won't do anything. Can I ask you something? When the COVID situation was there, it was there throughout the year. You would discuss COVID every day. Pollution, make no mistake, even if you cannot see it, so till such it time is we killing, don't have a it is, no, no, have, have these discussions okay. even during summertime. Okay. That was one thing I wanted to say, okay. which is very important. Sure. See, other things, there are various aspects of this pollution. All of them have to be handled separately. Mm. But what is Kejriwal government doing? Look, look at what has happened to Delhi's green cover. It's hardly increased in eight years. Mm. Number of buses have come down. Mm. Transport infrastructure is in a mess. Mm. Metro phases are running late. How does he, How do you expect to solve this problem? Okay. Okay. What is let last me, thing? Me, yeah. One thing I wanted to say, okay. and I really need an answer for Kejriwal government on this. So much of stubble burning was talking about. What is happening to stubble burning now? No talk of Punjab. Nothing is happening. Other thing, I'll tell you how this government is functioning. Corruption and propaganda through ads. If you remember, there was a new novel scheme KG was said that I've launched. Okay. They bought decomposer, stubble decomposer worth 68 lakh rupees to be used in Delhi and they spent 23 crores on ad. This is how what the model of Delhi okay, government is. Okay. Priyanka Kakkar, your response and then Alok ji, I'll come to you. Yeah. See, uh, firstly, I'd like to say both the experts mentioned that the weather has you to... You can't take credit for wind speed. Correct. That's what they said. So they yeah. said that. So today the wind speed, which can be confirmed through the experts, the wind speed is at 4 to 8 kmph. There is no wind. You can see we feel no wind. And that is also another reason where the AQ has gone up. One. Secondly, when he mentions what the Kejriwal government has done, let me tell you that whether, whether you look at the impounding of uh, vehicles which were 10 year old, we've impounded about 6500 vehicles, whether it was five, today, two hours before I came here, two hours, uh, the LNT has been fined. Uh, they were ca carrying on unnecessary construction at the BJP headquarters and they've been fined 5 lakh rupees. That has happened. Yeah. We are conducting surprise, surprise inspection. You interrupted me when I was talking about the long-term measures. One long-term measure that he mentioned wrong, Delhi green cover has increased from 20 to 23.4 percent. This can be checked. This can be checked, sir. This can be checked. It, I, I, this, this can be checked. Then, at the same time, when you're talking about short-term measures, for example, you must ask the BJP, it is such a small measure where the red light, red light, or red light on engine off okay. that that file has been withheld by them. They have rejected that. Why? It has. It did show drastic improvements okay. to a certain extent. That very measure was implemented by HDFC through 120, 126 locations on on 5th June 2022 to okay. the World Environment Day. Okay. They stopped it. So we have sent the file again. Sure. So so. Okay. Alok, what's? I want to come to you now and let's talk about the solution first, right? Because we can keep blaming, she'll blame your party, you will blame her party, he'll blame both of you. The doctors will keep sounding an alarm, environmentalists will keep getting worried, uh, masks will get uh, thicker and fatter. The solution over here is, uh, uh, it has to be a political solution, some sort of executive decision. Tough measures. The GST council, and I give this example in the past also, the GST council is an example where uh, different stakeholders from different states along with the center, they sit together and make a decision. Now you can, you can discuss whether those decisions were implemented properly or not, that will be a different debate. But there is a mechanism where a federal structure works. Why can't the same model, same monitoring institution be made for pollution? After all these years, we do not have a, a sort of a strategy meeting which involves all these key states. Like for instance, if I were to ask you, how many such meetings has the central government, central government initiated with the states? Let me tell you one thing. It's a very big problem in India at present. We are living in gas chambers. Whether it is Delhi or even smaller towns, this pollution beat is there everywhere. Yes, the main contributor is the vehicles. But then there are other way, like he said, he has already told you about the things which contribute to increasing the pollution and I agree with him. Those are the main, what we need to make 
नॉट ब्लेम ईच अदर दैट हमने नहीं किया तुमने नहीं किया वी ऑल नीड टू सिट टूगेदर एंड सेव आवर लाइफ एंड सेव द लाइफ ऑफ आवर चिल्ड्रेन With yeah. Yeah. Gopal Rai ji, Environment Minister has written to the BJP several times. There's been no response. We ask again on your show that a meeting be held because, like the experts also mentioned, pollution is a problem which grapples throughout India. It eighty percent of India suffers from pollution. It is not just a Delhi problem. Ask them when the last parliamentary committee meeting was held. Why did their MP? who was seen in indore eating jalebis did not attend the meeting they are not serious about the issue they may so say anything on the media no no you see the prime minister himself is you know so much aware of, of cleaning the places that contributes to increasing uh, reducing the pollution so you can't say that no, bjp is of places of and course reducing if you, pollution are two different no things. if things decay there also pollution increases if you if you But leave garbage and it decays no, See, it also is contributes alok was garbage yeah, in delhi is a different is problem different. garbage yeah. is a different yeah. problem yeah. i'm just saying yeah. for 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 the, for the purposes of fixing this we know that this is a perpetual annual problem i agree Around with this, this that everybody can need, the central government no, no, not take a lead everybody in needs to sit together and take stringent measures who will take this decision of course it will come from the central and very soon you will find that something will happen and all the states will have to sit okay. together yeah Okay, okay. Look, yes, I'll look. Come. Uh, uh, when Sheila ji took over, yeah. the Delhi cover was hardly six, seven percent, which yeah. increased to twenty-two yeah. percent. What he, she is talking about, the our party representative, they have increased by one, one and a half percent. Yeah. It doesn't solve issues. How do you solve issues? You have to sit together and solve it. I tell you what is not happening. Why it is not happening? Everyone knows. All hue and cry will be made in these couple of months, and for rest of ten months, nobody is going to talk about pollution. So all these Modi government and Kesri government are looking for is all we have to do is ride over these two months. So that's why I'm saying I was not blaming the media. All I'm saying it is you really want to solve a problem. I would request Indian media to keep spotlights on this issue 24/7. Do not let these governments breathe. And I'm telling you, I you will see a solution. I would also request opposition parties like the Congress to keep the pressure 24. Absolutely, we would. But, uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> but unfortunately, what is happening right now is whatever opposition says is given less space in the media because media narrative is also very oh, yeah, tightly no, controlled. Mm -hmm. If you all are saying I'm blaming anyone, solution comes Look. from. Disciplining Looks the okay. media. No, no, it's not about that. What is the job part. of the media? No, yeah. I'm not blaming media. Yeah. Again, understand from. Which perspective I'm coming from? Hmm. We will raise the issue. We are raising issues, but whatever happens in public discourse, in terms of what comes in media, hmm. has a huge importance. Okay, one more. Before That's I come I back to you, Dr. Gupta, you see, I wanted to ask you this very important question. In COVID, we saw an emergency response mechanism where uh, temporary hospitals were set up, beds were increased because it was an emergency. It was treated like one, right? So we saw a prompt response. Unfortunately, pollution is not treated as an emergency response. at least in hospitals so do you feel that that sort of system must be put in place that at least for these months when these cases will be on the rise there should never be a problem yeah, there is a one major difference between covid and air pollution mm. the, the, this is not contagious mm. covid is contagious mm. and it is increasing day by day and can like can can spread in whole yeah, town so or country surge of cases surge of cases okay. in immediately in, in, in neighborhood also mm -hmm. and definitely i am running a hospital i know that they, there is a increase in frequency of patient visit to emergency department to opd department even to the icu department they are hospitalized they are needing oxygen nebulization mm -hmm. even some some of them are needing bipap and ventilator supports also they are suffering from the uh, like asthma or copd or heart disease so i think this is crucial for everybody we should take a strict measure to control it otherwise it will be delayed and definitely because all we know that the data is not directly linked to the death Mm. we know that there is around 1.5 million deaths in only occurring in india because of this air pollution Correct. but it is not linked to anywhere it is not Correct. statistically analyzed it Correct. is not presented anywhere in the parliamentary committee also mm. in the health committee also mm. nobody take nobody doing a root cause analysis on this mm. nobody is taking corrective or preventive action mm. i think only for two month couple of month we are serious about this but we know that uh, every note we are doing this Unjustice to our next generation kids, those who are going to schools. Even the kids, those who are living in the Kerala or Uttarakhand, they are normal. They are breathing normal air. They are actually normal. Whenever they come to Delhi, they are suffering from asthma. They are having nebulizer at their home. They are going to a, a, a hospital for emergency treatment. Yeah. I think we need to protect our next generation, correct. and that can happen only if we have to take some corrective correct. measures immediately. Correct. Correct.
Jaydeep, uh, before you speak, uh, why don't you show us that device once again? Let's see what the uh, reading says right now. So you know, this yeah. will take a few seconds. Sure. I, I just want to mention, and I want to draw parity to Beijing and China. Uh, in 2012, uh, you know, Beijing had the same air apocalypse that we're having right now, and we've been having for the last. You know, I don't know. I've been watching this since 2014, and mm. in February 2015, we were declared as the most uh, polluted city in the world, Delhi. Uh, Beijing took the bull by the horns, and it's a sign of leadership, which apparently we we have none in this country. And you know, they reversed their air pollution by about 60 percent in three years. Okay, uh, we haven't even seen a one or two percent reversal of air pollution. In fact, I just feel like with increasing urbanization and lack of any mechanisms or you know any and lack of devices that can measure beyond triple nine and lack of and and, 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 and no, no hold, hold on. I I want to mention something about that. We don't even have. Uh, you know devices that measure pm1 and pm.5 and pm.3 we've yeah. shifted to cng so we've changed the problem you change the bogey you don't even have devices in this in this city that measure pm1 and because all the emissions from cng are less than 1 micron hmm. so you you made the we are not even measuring them we are not more even toxic. measuring that more toxic. it's huh. more toxic it's more, more, more toxic If, like pm2.5 they, they are a smaller micron no, but then what do we do we made the switch from diesel to cng now what do we do I think we need we need to do some have good public transport system in okay, India okay. in Delhi and in CR. Sure, sure. Okay, so that's the meter. It's still around 350, 350. which is uh, as you said going to increase as the. I I, I want to add hmm. that uh, you know when we spoke about government getting serious about this problem. Yeah. I'm baffled that on a day like today schools were open in in Delhi. My my children went to school when the AQI was 500 this morning. Hmm. There was no child wearing a mask. I drove by three or four schools. All the What schools in October and November yeah. have sports going on sure. because we have better weather. Exactly. It's such a huge, huge tragedy. Paradox. And paradox. I mean, this yeah. is insane. This is a paradox. Yeah. When we have bad environmental conditions and we are going let, outside. Let me ask that question of uh, all our uh, political panelists, Alok Watts as well as Priyanka Kakkar. Don't you think that stringent emergency measures need to kick in? Yes. In on on days like these. Yes. it's it's it should be treated like a time of emergency hmm. we are killing our children we are killing ourselves and we are just you know not doing anything about it seriously so we need to sit together and take stringent measures to control this okay. menace i'm yeah. glad that uh, the bjp spokesperson was talking aloud to himself as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned we are taking very stringent measures we have implemented the grab and the the phase 3 is an implementation let me speak sir why, why is it so high let me speak sir why is it let so high let me speak sir why, why are the schools open why are sports activities happening why are kids not wearing a mask why do why, why, one more one let me ask this question why do why, why one more why don't we have masks back for children for adults we have a we have a decision that has been taken that we don't need masks in fact i'm guilty of not wearing a mask i mean i i think sanket that uh, you know all of us are grown up individuals here all of us are above 18 and we can take a call for ourselves and wear the mask nobody stops us hmm. we can make sure our children also I mean, wear the mask and, and, nobody and stops why us. we are having a like guideline to wear a helmet everybody know that if you have accident you can oh, wear a shield with guidelines so i think government look at the literacy levels in our city that is not a i am not taking that defense i am not at all taking that defense i am not at all taking that defense i will not take that defense it was a it was a high court order which implemented the mask and when which then removed it okay, okay. it was a high court order which was implemented was okay sure. health so i health is the primary function of state government hmm. health is a primary function of state government and state government can take decision as per the requirement okay. of the okay. public i've 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 i've, I've run out of time let's just say we are still we are still losing time we are still losing time and let's consider while the meter is one well, one more while the meter is still reading 350 this is going to increase as we enter into the night and we will reach those days when this will cross triple 9 i i don't even know what the real reading is going to be because there are no meters that measure that we still have time and an emergency measure can be taken otherwise we will celebrate yet another edition of a lung burn fest smoke house delhi that we always keep talking about 
That's a wrap in this edition of Breaking Views. News and updates continue on the other side. Stay with us.